Welcome back. Among the many New Year's resolutions like eating better, getting more exercise, another popular one is actually getting cosmetic surgery that you might have always wanted. And here live in studio with us this morning is Dr. Sanjay Sharma and Dr. Adam Weinfield, uh, experts in the field. Thanks and Thanks for being here. And I first want to uh, talk about the fact that uh, more men are uh, coming forward nowadays. Why do you think that is? Yeah, well, uh, at the tail end of the recession, we started to see more men coming in. Uh, it's paradoxical. You would think they'd be wanting to save their money, but they were seeing that uh, cosmetic surgery might be a way to improve their chances of maintaining their job or, uh, or getting a job that they were looking for. Mm -hmm. um, next, why is winter prime time or a good time, so to speak? You can imagine the winter time, most men or women are in big clothes and bulky clothes, and it's sort of a downtime for many people. Uh, recovering from the holidays and, and hey, taking some vacation and time off. The winter time kind of gets you prepared for the spring, gets you prepared for the summer. And in general, I think if you're able to um, uh, recover over a time period where no one's going to see you or uh, you have some time off, it seems to be the best time to be, be able to do that. Mm -hmm. What are some of the most popular procedures and has that changed over the years? Are there trends in plastic surgery? Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting. The, uh, as you might expect, the popular procedures are different when you're thinking about men versus women. So when you're thinking about men, the most popular procedures are centered a little bit more on the face. So we have rhinoplasty, facelift, and eyelid surgery, also known as blepharoplasty, uh, with liposuction suction um, being uh, the fourth one and then when you look at women they're centered a little bit more on the body you still have the blepharoplasty but then you have liposuction breast lift breast augmentation and abdominoplasty mm -hmm. has there been more of a um, emphasis placed on appearance when it comes to weight with uh, and around the new year time do you see things with uh, because people have, have got such a focus on healthy eating or, or losing weight or resolutions like that absolutely there's a uh, Obviously the trend is to eat healthier and maintain a healthy lifestyle exercise, but there may be some times when you just can't seem to get rid of the extra fat or whatever that's, that's bothering you. And I think if you're able to control for those aspects of your lifestyle and, and maintain a healthy lifestyle, cosmetic surgery can help to kind of get rid of the unwanted areas that um, are stubborn to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Particularly for men, it tends to be around the waist, liposuction, body contouring, things that they just can't seem to get rid of with just diet and exercise alone. Yeah. Is there a certain age group where it's more popular or has the trend changed? Because um, I know we've talked to plastic surgeons before about, you know, it being a popular graduation gift or something like that for uh, maybe someone heading into college. But is there a, you know... All, all those things are true that you mentioned. Uh, you know, you are seeing uh, more cosmetic surgery in a younger population, more in an older population. But uh, the vast majority of patients uh, are, are between 35 and 55. Mm -hmm. How has technology changed plastic surgery over the years or has it is it better on the patient as far as recovery times or anything along those lines yeah, well, uh, imaging software is helpful in, uh, in dealing with patients in preoperative consultations, um, and uh, that has come about with uh, the advances that we've had in computer technology. In addition to that, um, our knowledge of uh, human physiology and ways to reduce inflammation um, helps speed recovery by reducing bruising and uh, reducing swelling, and those are all things that can be modified without technology per se. It's just that technology has allowed us to understand the human body better and, uh, and modify what patients do surrounding the time of surgery to help them have a better recovery. Got it. Well, thank you both for being here this morning. And we're going to have this clip along with links to more information where people can go for more information on our website. So thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. All righty. Yeah. We're going to kick it over to David now in the <coughs> Weather Center.